Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you my process for backtesting a swing trading strategy for gold. I'm going to focus on one month's worth of data and I'm going to trade using predominantly the daily time frame, but I'm going to use the 20 minute time frame for my trade entry and my trade management. So if you want to explore a different strategy for swing trading gold, make sure to keep watching this video. And the software that I'm going to be using for backtesting this is Forex Tester 5. Forex Tester 5 has so many great features, which you're going to find out more about in this video. It has a range of technical analysis tools, the ability to trade live, but with using fake money, and also lots of educational materials if you are new to trading and need to learn more. I have got a link below in the description where you can download Forex Tester 5 and try it out for yourself. Meanwhile, let's get trading some gold. Hey guys, so here I am in the Forex Tester 5 platform and this has loaded up one of my previous projects that I back tested on the SP500. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new project. And what I'm going to call this is gold uh, swing strategy. We're using the daily time frame and the 20 minute time frame. I'm going to leave the deposit as ten thousand dollars. So I'm going to click create, and this is going to set my chart up here, and it's automatically already back testing, loading up data for gold. Now this is in the one minute time frame, so let's just pause that here, and let's move to the daily time frame. Now at the moment, it's paused back in time to April 2018, so I'm going to just resume this and speed up the test, uh, just to load up some more daily candlesticks, because for me to be able to back test the strategy effectively, I'm going to need some data that I can analyze and take possible trades on and i'm just trying to figure out the best place to start back testing here so i've loaded up data up until may currently we're on the 18th of may so i'm going to load up mays and i'm going to start back testing for june so i just edited my chart just to make it a little bit more clean i've removed the grid removed the bid level just to make price action nice and clear which is how i like my charts so assuming that this is the start of my watch list for the daily, I would usually carry this out at a weekend. I'm going to click on my trendline tool and just start to add in some detail here. And this is a really nice start to June because this is quite clear. We can see that the daily has been coming down. We've managed to break this level. We've pulled back up. We have got a nice little red doji candle here closing and another one here. So this is making a really nice double top pattern on the daily time frame, which is setting up for a short following the overall trend down. So now that I have my bias for the daily, I'm going to try to find a more accurate place to get into this using the faster time frame. And for this, I'm going to use the 20 minute time frame. Now here are the available time frames that are already preset on Forex Tester 5. I can click on this little setting cog here, and this is where I can actually add a time frame. You can add any kind of time frame that you would like. So I'm going to enter in 20 minutes. And now if I click underneath my arrow, I can see the 20 minute time frame here. So just zooming out on the 20 minute, we've got a lot more data here, but it is the same as what we saw on the daily. So we've got this horizontal line marking that clear daily level, the break below it, and prices come back up and it's now just consolidating along it. Right, so price is continuing to push down here. So I'm going to see if we can get a nice entry. Uh, this looks like a good place to get in short here because we've dropped down and it's pulled back to the same length as this one here. So I'm going to set a sell limit order at this level here. Stop loss, I'm going to just set above the highs up here. And I take profit, let's just have a look at the, the lows down here for a nice two to one profit loss ratio. Right, so 
Massage being activated. I'm currently in this position short. Right, that's good. So we've had one order so far, and so we've got a two R win on that trade. So that trade was taken on the 1st of June. It got activated on the 4th of June, which looks like a Monday. I'm trying to back test this as though it was a week of trading. So currently we're in the early morning hours now of the 5th of June, the Tuesday. Let's see if we've got any more opportunities for a trade. It looks like price is swinging higher. It's come back into this consolidation area. So I'm going to just fast forward this on to see when we next get a possible trading opportunity. Okay, so it could maybe be turning here. Price is continuing to consolidate along this level on the daily, so I don't want to get into this for any more shorts until we've got a clear indication of what price is going to do. So that's what I was waiting for really, was a nice bit of momentum on the daily to show that the trend was going to continue down. I've been consolidating for quite a while here, so now I'm going to go back onto my faster time frame to look for some short opportunities. So we're halfway through the month of June, I've only taken one trade so far. But this is sometimes how it goes. The market can consolidate for days, maybe even weeks sometimes. And sometimes the best thing to do is to just stay out when the market is choppy like that, uh, which is what I've done to try and avoid taking any losers. There may have been some opportunities there on the faster time frame, but I'm trying to stick to my strategy for this video and back test that. So let's see if I can find any opportunities to get short with this momentum. So before I jump on to 20 minute, I'm just going to add this horizontal line here and remove the previous one, which just marks the low of this daily key level where we consolidated and broke through. So I'm looking for a nice bit of a retest where we can get short. So I'm going to just follow price for now to see if we can pull back to this key level. Um, at the moment it's pushing up. So let's just watch it and see. We can see price has just been swinging for some time. I've just marked the lower of the most recent swing here and I'm just watching price now. Let's see if it's going to continue swinging higher or if we're going to get a, ah, a break below. If we get a retest of this level, I think this may be a good place for a short. Stop's going to have to be above price here and my take profit is going to have to be um, going to have to be quite a fair way to get a nice profit loss ratio on there. Let's just see how realistic that is on the daily. Yeah, on the daily, it's above structure. Let's see how we go on. Right, so I'm into the short. I'm 
tempted to trail my take profit now. So I same in for a two to one. I think if I extend this down to here, which makes this a three to one trade and then maybe bring my stop to break even here just to reduce the risk. Let's just see if we can try and get a bit more profit on this trade. Okay. Oh, that was going to stop me out break even for a moment then. Right, so I've just got another win here. That's good. Um, a three R win. I've just gone onto the daily time frame. And you can see that it actually pulled back and made another a pullback here, but I didn't see that because I was just staying on the 20 minute. This probably would have been a good place to add to the position. Uh, but because I was already in a trade, I wasn't really looking for those. But you can see how it does produce opportunities when you're in a trade. It looks like this trend may be going on for some time now. Um, and it can sometimes give you opportunities to add to it or to manage your trade in other ways to try to really capitalize on it. Um, so we're on the next day now. We're on the 28th of June. Uh, only a couple of days left of June. So we're going to see if we can get any more trades just using the 20 minute time frame here. Um, as you can see, we're in a nice downtrend and I'm going to just take the most recent, let's use my Fibonacci tool, the Fibonacci extension. And you can, you can use this to measure a reaction leg. So I can measure this recent reaction leg here and I can apply this to the lows. And if we get a pullback up here, I might be tempted to get short and just see if we can get a little win on this. Right, I'm going to just set an order here, a sell limit. I'm going to set a stop just above this level here. And I'm going to target the lows. Uh, let's target 47 for a like roughly a two to one profit loss ratio there. I'm going to drag my order down to the length of that reaction leg as price is pushing down uh, just to trail that order. You might be going without me. Okay, so I've got filled at that measurement there. And as we are coming down swinging lower, I'm going to just trail that stop to break even. Oh, that's nice, I think. Oh, I don't know if that counts for this video, guys. I technically took the trade in June and it, it got triggered on the 29th of June. It hit my target the 2nd of July. It looks like the 29th was a Friday. So the order got filled on the Friday, hit on the Monday. So I'm going to count that. So just going on to my account history here, during the course of this experiment, trading gold for one month, for the month of June, 2018, I've only taken three trades and it might not seem like a lot of trades, but as you can see, I've been using the daily time frame to be the leader in my trading decisions and once it looks good on the daily, I've been going to the faster time frame to try to find a trade. Now there's been quite a few uh, parts of this video, as you know, where I've maybe not, uh, the market's not pulled back to where I was looking to get in. So I've had a lot of missed opportunities that's gone without me, but the occasions where the market has come back to my entry, I mean, this very rarely happens, but I've had three winning trades. It's a very small pool of data. I'm not saying that I win every time. But it's, it's really good that there was two 3R wins and one 2R wins. So I'm up around about eight on this back testing for June, uh, which is pretty good. So if I was risking 1% per trade, I'd be up 8%.
really nice return for three trades. Uh, for all I know, come July it might be different and I might be at a loss, but, but it's why it's really important to backtest because you can see how you fare over a series of trading opportunities. And hopefully at the end of it, you're up green in your account. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this video just demonstrating my backtesting process for testing out a swing trading strategy for gold over one month. If you have, be sure to hit the like button below this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. If you enjoyed the software that I use for this backtesting, this is Forex Tester 5, as I mentioned before, and I have got a link below in the description where you can download it for yourself. Have a go and see what you think. Thank you for watching. Bye.